Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you're as excited as we are to have you guys here for our very, very, very first uh, Virginia Space Coast Scholars Virtual Academy. This has just been such a cool experience. Like, I honestly wasn't sure about it at first. I didn't really know exactly what it entailed. I was really nervous. I was going to have to go in person, like meeting all the new people. And then it was virtual. I wasn't really sure because some of the things that I liked about the camp was the in-person aspect, you know, getting to meet all the new people and nerding out with people who like, you know, are nerds too. <laughs> um, and so when it was online, I just, I honestly just didn't know what to expect, but it just, it turned out really well. And it's been so much fun, even though it's online like this. It's actually quite cost-effective. Dr. Gleisner's flown and Dr. Weinbarger um, out of Marshall Space Flight Center have flown. Testing, so that's pretty exciting usage of the north end of our runway? I just knew that it would be an experience that I couldn't get anywhere else. To be able to step into the shoes of somebody at NASA and formulate my own mission with a team, it was very uh, enticing to be a part of. Um, you can fly for short distances. I think the favorite part of my week was meeting everyone on Saturday and Sunday because uh, I realized that the team is the most important part of the mission. And although the presentations were all like really interesting, I enjoyed the tour. Um, I think that the team really made me um, focus on my work and they also helped me um, understand my role in the mission. And I also helped them. And I like that mutual relationship that we had with them, open discussions. And that was really an interesting part and an interesting new experience. Watching our project grow and evolve and our team grow and evolve as we got used to each other and figured out who was good at what and started to really trust each other and our it just it was slow at first but then our project just really bloomed and that was just really exciting to watch should work out the kinks but i think that that the thing that has stuck and that will stick with me the most is hearing from all the engineers and scientists who work at Wallops and around the Wallops community and their passion for their job and that sort of has continued to pour fuel into the flame that gets me excited about aerospace and about doing this for a living, potentially. Assist in hurricane prediction. The atmosphere effects, we're using four instruments, the SSM County in Sterling, Virginia, and I'm an environmental scientist. I think I've done already two programs through the Grand Consortium and both have been absolutely awesome. And it's been really great to see and hear things that I would not have had the chance to learn. Uh, because the people who you get to talk to and the things that you get to see and hear are not necessarily open to the public. It's really cool to see what people actually do and to see the real things and to hear what people do for a living and be able to see yourself doing that in the future. Everyone, welcome to our presentation. Today, our group will be presenting our planned mission called Storms. For elementary school, they will simply fill in and label a map of the I think it was really interesting to see like what goes on behind the uh, construction of the launch pads. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff I didn't know about the water jets they used to cool off the launch pad. That was really interesting to me because you, you never see any of that. Uh, you never see all the work that goes in behind just like one rocket launch. Answer that. So our hurricane modeling and prediction technology, uh, we're going to be... You will be challenged, and that's a good thing. It's so wonderful to be pushed out of your comfort zone and be challenged in such an intensive environment. There is no better way to know exactly what it's like because it's what you're doing. You're pushed in such an intensive environment. I would encourage anyone to really go for it so that you can have that experience and really be able to see a possible future for yourself. 